the secret's out on a guy who may have flown a bit under the radar. Humbling, really humbling, because it's, it's being able to keep my nose down and keep working, whether that was in the weight room, in the film room, or even in the classroom. Um, just all three phases of that really came together and just be able to make me the person I am today. There are layers of the success to peel back on Mario Anderson, like when he passed all of his finals, he notched a 3.5 GPA at Newberry, he immediately called to surprise his high school teacher, Ricky Reyes, on FaceTime. To see the hill that he had to climb as he came over from Somerville uh, with no credits, and uh, gave us a year where he, he just fought on the field, fought in the classroom, uh, and doing his best at trying to overcome adversity. It's very exciting to see uh, him achieve one of those goals that he thought for a long time was unreachable. Dare I say he's like a son to me uh, and many others that have invested in his life because he's just so special. He's got such a good heart. If the GPA number is impressive, the football numbers at D2 Power Newberry out of this world. Eight games this year, 1,271 yards, that's 154 a game, and touchdowns, how about 16 of them already? I look at myself, my accolades for myself at the end of the season, because right now uh, we're trying to win the conference. Watch the Somerville native, you know he runs with a purpose. Talk to him, quickly find out what it is. And just watching my mother raise four men you know what I'm saying? And with the help of my uncles and grandmother and everything, it just really set for me to make sure my family was straight. And that's what really keep me going week in and week out. It's all about others, his family, and his football family. We can come together as one, no matter who we're playing against, no matter what's going on, we come together as brothers because we go to war with other teams week in, week out. The only bad thing, no way to make a stealth attack when Super Mario leads you onto the battlefield. This is Aaron Kish and his wife, Heather, during a happier time. Last year, my wife was diagnosed with stage four cancer and research was one of those things that really gave us hope. She went through treatment at Hollings Cancer Center and Aaron says even though she was in pain, Heather stayed positive. Her cancer was very rare and so she was really excited that the opportunity for young doctors and other people to learn from her cancer. Heather lost her fight with cancer on March 1st, 2022. That's when Erin decided it was time to tune up the bike and start putting in the miles in her memory. She went through a lot and physically it was just very taxing on her and so it's uh, easy for me to then think about uh, when I'm having a tough day. His challenge is to ride 100 miles, which is the cycling equivalent of a marathon and should take roughly five to six hours. Some of it had to do with the physical pushing myself. There's definitely a component of being out for a really long ride that is therapeutic. Those long rides probably are a piece of helping process that grief. His goal? to raise as much money as he can for cancer research to help people like his wife. The biggest piece was uh, with my wife's memorial. We were just uh, reached out to a lot of friends and family that we were inviting and told them kind of in lieu of gifts if they would make a donation. His ride will not be alone. He will be with the group, making the 100 miles a little bit easier and a little more fun as they pedal for a cure. Seven new weapon detectors are now in use in Williamsburg County Middle and High Schools. They're at the entrance of each school, so when someone walks through, it can sense if there is a gun. The system uses cameras and detects a weapon through shape, density, and location. A staff member from the district will monitor each detector. The technology, um, you know, is, is great. It allows us to be able to pinpoint not just um, items of concern, but also the, the person in, in connection with that item. The district says school safety is a priority. They already have metal detectors and wands at every school, but this is another way to keep students safe. Well, we know as the culture goes, there's some instances, a lot of instances where um, guns, violence is in the culture and the society. So as a culture goes, sometimes it trickles down to the schools. 
But what about the Tri-County? We reached out to CCSD. A spokesperson told us in part, quote, district staff presented an analysis of security measures, including weapon detectors in October. Staff will provide recommendations at the November 7 Committee of the Whole meeting, end quote. DD2 told us in part, quote, we are constantly evaluating our security procedures. Safety is our top priority, end quote. And BCSD told us in part, quote, the district has been reviewing metal detection systems systems like the one implemented in Williamsburg County. However, it is premature at the time to promise how such system would be utilized or how soon they could be implemented, end quote. Although other low country districts do not have the weapon detectors, the Williamsburg County School District hopes that if the detectors are beneficial, then every school in its district will have one. Because we want our kids to come here and be safe. We want to make sure they're in a safe learning environment so that we don't have to worry about things happening.